welcome back to Praggers Gaming. I'm Gamer Praggers, and this is Airborne Kingdom, which we have covered before on the channel. We did uh, one, maybe two live streams um, on it, and I enjoyed my time with it, but I thought we would start a new save um, and uh, do a series on it. So what is Airborne Kingdom? Airborne Kingdom is a city building video game developed by the Wandering Band. Players build and maintain a mobile flying city. It was released for Windows and Mac OS in 2020 and Freedom Games published ports to consoles in late 2021. So, uh, yeah, so we have to build our city and recruit new people to it to get more people to do things and build things. And But we also need to keep the city afloat. Um, so I believe there is a uh, story, so I will play on normal. In a bygone age, a kingdom existed like no other. This kingdom did not anchor its power. This kingdom took to the skies. The Airborne Kingdom traveled to every kingdom on the ground, sharing knowledge, culture, and tradition. Its great council guided the lands through a golden age. Yet, long before even our elders can remember, the Airborne Kingdom vanished. The people sought to continue their harmony, but self-interest began to overrule. The land's three regions slowly isolated. Trade, travel, connections all unwound. Kingdoms contracted, and small settlements nearby were nearly wiped away. Bygone times turned to legend. But in the tapestry, we found instructions. A blueprint to remake the technology of the ancients. A prophecy to restore the Airborne Kingdom. There was but one belief we had wrong that day, though it proved vital. For such a finding was no chance at all. All our painstaking efforts have succeeded. Our home flies. Yet this is only the beginning. To truly rebuild the ancient's vision, we need to find every kingdom upon the lands and befriend them as common allies. We also need inhabitants to form our great council in this new empire. We should start with the kingdom of Rutula, not far from us and the only kingdom we know. But first, we must build houses and find supplies. So, uh, let me pause. So this is our kingdom. We currently have nine people and they are uh, idle. They are currently satisfied. So we can see here that uh, we have nine satisfied uh, travelers, um, but they don't have homes. And that's currently um, contributing to their displeasure. So we need to sort that out. What else have we got across the top? We have food. Uh, we need to make sure that we've got enough food for our people, uh, for our workers. So we have 27 with a storage for 30. Um, and we lose 0.4 every hour, which is needed by workers. We also have water. Uh, so we have 14, we have storage for 30, and we lose 0.4 for the workers. 
we've got lift, which is how high we are going. Uh, 20 weight from buildings with ability to carry 40. So if you build too many buildings without lift, your you, you, your airborne kingdom will no longer be airborne. Um, plus there are you have to consider the tilt as well. So if you so it's not just a case of building where you can you also need to consider where you build things if you put too much up front you'll start tilting down um, and likewise if you build too far at the back and to the left and to the right so all that needs to be considered when building speed because of the drag of our buildings we can only move at 76 percent of our fastest possible speed add propulsion buildings to increase the amount so that's like the um uh the paddle things I think uh, no that little one at the back the little propeller at the back uh, one town center giving 76 propulsion uh, we have coal which is what we use to power our um, our central fan so we have 27 we've got room for 30 and uh, we lose po uh, 0.5 an hour powering the central fan we have 22 wood so these are our building materials so we've got wood adobe which brick we've got iron but we haven't got any of that yet glass canvas so glass you get from crystals canvas from cotton iron from mining adobe from i think it's sand uh, and wood and that's our storage oh we can dump resources uh, and we have no relics so that's that so we can look around so we have our building so we can zoom out zoom in with the triggers left stick so left stick moves the camera around right stick changes where we're aiming we don't have an academy yet, so I think that's more for um, research. Here is the map. Uh, as you can see, we've got our Renew the Airborne Kingdom, so that's our main... Uh, our main... Uh, objective. We don't have any quests, and as you saw, there's our tapestry, which doesn't have anything on it yet. Um, so we need to uh the prophecy scrolls on the tapestry is clear we can only achieve prosperity by remaking the airborne kingdom we must have a great council with as many numbers as the ancients did and we must find an ally with all of the kingdoms throughout the land only by proving our worth will they agree to an allegiance so you can we can move our airborne kingdom around and eventually uh, we will come across um these kingdoms and then they'll get us to do a quest for them and that's how we prove our uh, our worth to them and then they will um, offer to join us in an allegiance so as you can see we've got nine of 150 population which is what we need to make the great council and then 12 allies to do that and then this is the build menu so we've only got basics and storage so the basics you've got housing blocks hangers um, paths and the academy and you can see their costs there so that takes 10 adobe we've got uh, a housing block we can't build the academy yet because we don't have enough trees uh, storage so we've got a warehouse for storing our resources we've got a food silo for storing food and water tower for, um, uh, for storing water but it also gives you the um, the cost in terms of lift I think it was yes so this so the food silo will cost two lift the water tower will cost two lift so in theory you could have one on one side food on one side water on the other the housing block is 0.5 uh, the hangar is two uh, a path is 0 0.1 0 0.01 um, uh, and I just switched off the pause so let's take uh let's look at getting 
if I zoom in a bit. So we've got a path around the outside, as you can see. So if we So with that in mind, let's get, uh, hang on, so that is 0.5, so we can rotate, entrance not connected, oh so, okay, so that's not a path, okay, so let's get a path, so we'll extend that down the side and we'll do the same on the other side and we'll put one across the top so they will start building that out okay and then we will put a housing block And you can change the design. So we'll put that one in. And we will put one this side. So that keeps us uh, thing. Um, I can't, does it say, a housing block provides shelter from one. Each block is clumped together with its nearest neighbors to form a two by two house. Okay. too high we don't have enough wood okay and then we're gonna need a hanger so we will build that here and that gives us a plus one to the front so we'll put that in um, and then how much does the hanger that was two up so okay okay so I'm gonna put a path along the back now paths don't cost anything to make okay Oh, we're out of materials. So we'll wait for that to be built. We'll speed up. And then hopefully. Right. So the basic controls A to select objects in the game. Uh, right stick to rotate the camera. Left stick to move your camera left right. R to reset the camera on your town center. buildings and tilt. Any buildings must be connected to the town centre via paths. These walkable platforms are also as sturdy connect connections between buildings. Housing blocks clumped together are two by two squares, uh, but that clump must also have some connection to a path. Later constructions may have similar clumping properties. When placing buildings, pay careful attention to the tilt, as adding too much weight on one side or the other will, rip, will tip your kingdom, which may annoy your population and slow you down. Uh, you may be up in the skies, but you still need to gather resources from the ground. Your people can reach these resources with a hangar building. Hangars contain planes, which allow your people to fly to the ground and grab materials. Um, a hangar should be one of the first buildings you construct. Once you have one, use A on that nearby forest and assign people to gather. Okay, and then people and work. On the top bar, you can see the amount of people you have joined you. On the left is the number of people, and on the right is the number of housing blocks. Uh, so we have four housing blocks. Uh, each person requires one housing block, so we are going to need some more. Inhabitants with no specially assigned skill will build any available construction. If there's no available construction, then they are not assigned to work. They'll show in the idle work counter next to the housing numbers. Uh, try building some housing blocks for inhabitants now. Right, so let me just pause. Because... Hangar. Lock camera, move, custom, customize planes, destroy. We don't want to do any of that. Right. 
Okay, and then... So it says, so we've got 38, re there's 38 trees in that forest remaining. Um, and we can get about two per trip. So... As you can see on the top where we've got the wood, we get, we're pulling in uh, 11.9. So let's set that off. And then you will, should see as people start heading to work, there they go. Off the planes go and they'll collect the wood, allowing us to build more. Let's speed up, let them come back movement. Unlike other kingdoms, your kingdom can move. Simply press A anywhere on the land and you'll start moving in that direction. Being unmoored has its advantages. You can get closer to resources that would otherwise be too far away. The closer you are to a resource, the faster you'll gather it. So uh, let's head here. There we go. And then we're moving towards that. And the planes. There we go. I've brought back the resources. Four, six. So, pop that in there. Oh, we don't have enough wood. So, I'll speed up time. We've got one degree to the front, so we could do with something at the back. We can research new buildings. Construction on a flying platform is hard. Beyond basic and storage buildings, you must research any new constructions at an academy so they may work in the skies. Your people don't have many ideas for buildings yet, but an adobe kiln would be a useful addition so that you can transform sand to brick. Create an academy and start researching the adobe. Right, so. But we need more wood for that. And there's only 10 left down there, so we're going to need some more wood. So let's slow down. So there is some more wood over here, along with some water. And there's some stone as well. So we've got eight there. And that gets us ten wood. So we'll speed up, we'll grab that. Now, these resources do respawn, so that's now empty. So if I now put us to head over here, we can head there. And we'll send two down to that, two there, and two there. Uh, right. Six working and three idle. Uh, nine inhabitants, but only eight houses. So we're going to need some more. Twenty-eight coal. So we're going to need some coal. As well at some point. So let's just slow down. Have a look around. That's clay. Oh, hang on. Is that what the is that? That's coal deposit. It's not stone. It's coal. Okay. 
Right, so we have now filled our stone. Um, uh, our coal hopper. Uh, but we do need more food and water at some point. Uh, but we are filling up on water. Um, where do we get food from? Ah, there's a small settlement. We can look for migrants. Oh, there. That's where we get food from. We've got a thicket. And we can collect food. Recruiting more people. For your kingdom to thrive, you must always look for more people to join. Potential migrants can be found at small settlements. They look at the happiness of your current inhabitants and judge whether they'd like to join. You can see the average satisfaction of your level of the people in your top bar. Use the D-pad to navigate the bar to see more specifics, including what might be causing displeasures. Well, we know at the moment it's houses. So let's get... Let's get the academy built. Hang on. Uh, and that, okay. And how does that affect our tilt? There we go, that's corrected our tilt as well, which is great news. Um, and then we're gonna build another housing block here and to keep it uh, level, we build on the other side as well. So, uh, uh, I will sort that out in a minute. Let's just pause, because we are full on water, so I'm going to reduce the amount of people there. Um, but we still need more wood, so I'm going to up that. Okay, we also have our research tree open. So we've got the basics, so we can upgrade, uh, we can research, increase the maximum possible speed by 10%, increase coal storage by 100%, uh, regain more resources when moving or destroying buildings, regain all resources when moving or destroying, increase coal storage. Uh, in terms of housing, we can stack up to two stories. Uh, we can require less food per household and less water, up to three storeys. Um, the hangar, we can increase the available planes to eight, uh, or we can research a faster gather rate. Under resources, we've got the Adobe Kiln. We can increase storage, um, but we can also increase uh, stacking each of the uh, resources. We've got nothing in lift, nothing in propulsion, and nothing in desires. So, uh, let's get the Adobe Kiln going. Um, but, uh, let's also, uh, no. Okay. So there's that. So we're collecting the wood. Uh, and then we'll move over here. Because, um, yeah, so we've got the settlement there. There's over here, there's a relic ruin, and we can get uh, relics. Uh, we can go over here to an unknown ruin but it looks like we can get a different uh, colour scheme for un uh, to unlock to customise our buildings okay let me just stick yeah a nearby forest has been fully chopped and replanted it will grow in time so I'm going to move over here There we go, everyone is jubilant. Uh, let's just stick one on there. Uh, we'll just send the one down to there. What 
what's this? A clay deposit. We'll send someone there. I don't know if that's too far away. Okay, all work is busy. There we go, we've researched the kiln. So let's open the research tree and uh, go to the hangar and we will increase the gather rate. Okay, coal storage is almost full. That's fine. So let's speak to the village. So we approach a hovel on the edge of nowhere. Some settlers may wish to join us, to leave the land's toil behind. A settlers by necessity are hard and tireless. I recall uh, my own home just abandoned. The people here would have to uproot their lives soon, uh, like we did, from memories of the distant past by Mullah, the second chronicler. So we can either, we look for migrants, which is a recruit, or we return to our home. So let's recruit. A few of the settlers seem interested by our vision, but they want assurance that they're leaving for a happier home. Okay, so what this doesn't show, because we are at Jubilant, is depending on how happy your settlers are, not all of these would be available. So uh, we can recruit all three. Uh, it gives you the requirements. So at least mediocre inhabitants on the Airborne Kingdom with Jubilant. Um, overall satisfied inhabitants and jubilant so we can request we can um, grab all three now if we were still only on uh, satisfied the third one wouldn't be available to us um, but we could come back so okay so we have three new people with us but we don't have enough buildings uh, housing for them so uh, that should be enough but I'm going to max uh, put it out to four but we need more wood uh, let me just look your people do not enjoy living next to certain buildings like the one you just finished researching the, these are indicated with a red radius while you're placing them. Pay careful attention when placing these buildings so that they're far away from any housing. So that's the Adobe Kiln. Uh, you can also move any building by selecting the building and selecting the move icon. This can help if you've placed a dirty building near housing blocks or to rebalance your kingdom if it's too tilted. So let's have a look. So the Adobe Kiln, there it is, has two. But let me zoom in. I think let's get a path. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So we need the kiln, but we need 15 wood for that. Uh, we are full on food, so let's cancel that. Yeah, we can't do anything with that. So let's up the forest resources to three. Um, but that, let me pause, that is all we've got time for. So in the next episode, we will carry on building out. Um, I will look to get uh, some of the clay, wherever it is. Is that it? I thought there was a larger one nearby. Um, uh, that's a coal. But uh, yeah, so we will look to expand out in the next episode. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, ticking the bell so you know when new videos go live. In the description is a link to the channel Discord. Feel free to come and 
talk about the games you're playing, the games I'm playing, games in general, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!